हेलो डी एस स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफेक्टर इन दिस क्लास विल बी सींग द डिज़ाइन ऑफ एफ आई आर फिल्टर यूजिंग फोर ईयर सीरीज मेथड एंड हैंडिंग विंडो वी हैव डन दिस प्रॉब्लम इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास यू कैन रिफर द डिटेल वीडियो ऑन दिस सोल्यूशन इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव गिवेन ए कंपेरिजन to get an easy view how to solve the problem of fir filter using fourier series method and hanning window the same question can be solved for fourier series as well as with hanning window okay so in this i have just given a comparison a con comparison in the sense that the all the formulas are quoted down for the solution using fourier series method and hanning window so that you can get a clear visualization of the solution and not getting confused for fourier series and hanning method let us start the problem design an ideal high pass filter with a frequency response hd of e to j omega is equal to 1 for pi by 4 less than equal to mod omega less than equal to pi and is 0 for mod omega less than equal to pi by 4 find the value of h of n for n is equal to 11 find h of z you have to find the transfer function of the filter so let us first see the fourier series method the first step is to write the desired frequency response hd of omega hd of e to j omega given in the question what is given in the question we have written it here and then a uh, second step is to compute hd of n that is the desired impulse response or the filter coefficients which is uh, given by the formula 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to pi hd of e to j omega e to j omega and d omega on this summation is from minus pi to minus pi by 4 minus pi to minus pi by 4 another is from pi by 4 to pi so we split the integral into two parts and solve the hd of n the detail solution you can see in um, in the previous video class so on solving hd of n we are getting it as 1 by pi sin of pi n minus sin pi by 4 n and this n is varying between minus infinity to infinity that is the filter coefficient is of infinite nature and we are designing fir filter finite impulse response filter so the uh, filter coefficient or the desired impulse response must be of finite nature so we are the third step is to truncate this infinite hd of n the truncation the abrupt truncation is done in fourier series method given by the equation h of n is equal to hd of n for mod n less than equal to n minus 1 by 2 and is zero otherwise so we have truncated this hd of n to some finite value and then computed n h of 0 h of 1 which is equal to h of minus 1 is equal to minus 0.225 like this we have computed h of 0 h of 1 h of 2 h of 3 h of 4 h of 5 why till 5 we have done because it is n minus 1 by 2 n is 11 11 minus 1 10 by 2 that is 5 so we have computed from h of 0 to h of 5 after the third step fourth step is finding h of z the transfer function of the filter which is given by the equation h of 0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2 h of n z to the power of n plus z to the power of minus n the solution also i have mentioned in the previous video class you can refer it there and then finally computing the fifth uh, uh step h dash of z which is equal to z to the power of n minus z to the power of minus of n minus 1 by 2 dot h of z so this h of z is containing positive of powers of z so it's not physically realizable to make it physically realizable the transfer function is multiplied by the fun by the term z to the power of minus of n minus 1 by 2 on simplifying the h dash of z is coming to be like this 
0 0.045 minus 0 0.75 z to the power minus 2 minus 0 0.159 z to the power minus 3 minus 0 0.225 z to the power minus 4 plus 0.75 z to the power minus 5 minus 0 0.225 z to the power minus 6 minus 0 0.159 z to the power minus 7 minus 0 0.075 z to the power minus 8 plus 0 0.45 z to the power minus 10. So, like this we have solved for Fourier series method. So, first compute h d of n and then find h of n h of 0 to h of 5 values then h of z and finally, h dash of z. This completes the Fourier series method. Let us now see how to solve the same problem using Hanning window. Hanning window definition let us see let us start the procedure. First step is the desired frequency response which is given in the question we have written it here and the second step is to find h d of n which is given by the formula 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to pi h d of e to j omega dot e to j omega n d omega. On simplifying h d of n we are getting it as 1 by pi n sin pi n minus sin pi by 4 of n where this n is varying between minus infinity to infinity. The detailed solution you can see in the i button above i button and after finding h d of n computed h d of 0 to h d of 5, h d of 0, h d of 1, h d of 2, h d of 3, h d of 4, h d of 5 by substituting n value as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here and h d of 1 is equal to h d of minus 1 we have written like this because it is symmetrical impulse response. Okay, so, after finding h d of 0 to h d of 5, next writing the Hanning window definition. Hanning window is given by w h of n is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0.5 cos 2 pi n by capital N. w h n value is this much for range minus of n minus 1 by 2 less than equal to small n less than equal to n minus 1 by 2 and is 0 otherwise. In this range w h of n value is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 cos 2 pi n by n minus 1. After writing the definition substituted n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we will get the values w h of 0 till w h of 5. And the window function is also symmetrical in uh, nature. So, it is written as w h of 1 is equal to w h of minus 1 which is coming to be as 0 0.9045. Similarly, we have computed for w of 2, w of 3, w of 4 and w of 5. Why till 5? Because capital N is given as 11 and it is um, range from n minus 1 by 2, 11 minus 1 is 10 by 2 is 5. So, after computing h d of 0, h d of 0 to h d of 5 computed w h of 0 till w h of 5. So, this is infinite in nature h d of n is infinite and w h of n is finite in nature. So, we have to truncate this h of n, truncate this h d of n by multiplying with w h of n. So, we are getting h of n, h of n is equal to h d of n dot w h of n. So, we will get h of 0, h of 1, h of 2, h of 3, h of 4, h of 5 by using the above values. The detailed solution is given in the previous video class you can refer. So, the infinite impulse response h d of n is now truncated to h of n by multiplying with a finite weighing sequence w h of n handing window here. Then we computed the transfer function h of z is equal to h of 0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2 h of n z to the power of n plus z to the minus n. This is containing the transfer function is containing positive powers of n, um, z, it is not physically realizable. So, to get the transfer function of a physically realizable filter, it is multi h of z is multiplied with z to the power of minus of n minus 1 by 2 it is uh, h of z is coming to be as minus 0 0.026 minus 
zero point one zero four z to the power minus three minus zero point two zero four z to the minus four plus zero point seven five z to the minus five minus zero point two zero four z to the minus six minus zero point one zero four z to the power minus seven minus zero point zero two six z to the power minus eight. So in this way, we can have computed h dash of z by Hanning window. Okay, so this video gives a an overview of the solving designing of FIR filter of an ideal high pass filter by using Fourier series method and Hanning window. So the Fourier series method drawback is Gibbs phenomenon because this H of n the impulse response is suddenly truncated, abruptly truncated, which which results in oscillations in pass band and stop band it occurs due to the slow convergence of the fourier series so gibbs phenomena is a drawback of fourier series there is a reason we are using the windowing method in windowing method what we are doing how we are truncating we are truncating it by multiplying hd of n with f mannerite weighing sequence wh of n and the other things are similar so, i hope you have understood the class if you have any queries you can post in the comment section thank you good luck students